Hi, my name is James Cole. I'm a medical laboratory scientist. Physicists, chemists, and molecular biologists have linked energy-dependent changes in DNA base pairs from angstroms to ecosystems and healthy longevity in all living genera. Energy is information. The innate immune system links the information from the epigenetic landscape to the de novo creation of genes and to the physical landscape of supercoiled DNA. Energy-dependent supercoiled DNA protects the organized genomes of all living genera from virus-driven energy theft. Energy theft causes the accumulation of mutations that leads to all pathology. In this presentation, I link ecological variation to energy-dependent RNA-mediated events and ecological adaptation. Chemical ecology links the energy-dependent events from nutrient-dependent microRNA flanking sequences to biophysically constrained protein folding chemistry. RNA-mediated protein folding chemistry links the conserved molecular mechanisms of cell type differentiation to all biodiversity. Simply put, the sun's biological energy links what organisms eat to cell type differentiation via the physiology of reproduction. Transgenerational epigenetic inheritance links single nucleotide polymorphisms and RNA-mediated amino acid substitutions such as COMT-VAL-158 met and BDNF-VAL-66 met to differences in phenotypes. Fixed amino acid substitutions exemplify differences in the morphological and behavioral phenotypes of all living genera. The color-coded sections of the model include links to cited works that support the brief representations in the text. The center section of the poster attests to the fact that cause and effect is non-linear. Experience-driven changes link energy from physics and chemistry to molecular epigenetics via RNA-mediated protein folding. That's how experience links top-down causation from sunlight to molecular epigenetics and the morphological and behavioral phenotypes of all living genera across their lifespan. All life-sustaining interactions must be integrated during life history transitions and successful transitions are manifested as fixed amino acid substitutions. The sections in yellow, green, and white link the anti-entropic quantized energy of the sun from the virucidal effects of ultraviolet light to healthy longevity. The citations attest to facts about energy-dependent hydrogen atom transfer in DNA base pairs in solution. Biophysically constrained protein folding chemistry links hydrogen atom transfer from angstroms to ecosystems via pH in the context of cell type differentiation. Facts about measured analytes in addition to pH link RNA-mediated amino acid substitutions to the energy-dependent physiology of reproduction. All facts about cell type differentiation link biophysically constrained protein folding chemistry to pH and protection from virus-driven entropy. For contrast, everything in red links excessive nutrient stress and or social stress from changes in pH and virus-driven energy theft to mutations and all pathology. If everything in yellow, green, white, and red is not considered in the context of healthy longevity compared to virus-driven pathology, researchers and clinicians are left with theories. In the context of genetics and genomics, all theories are equally irrelevant compared to the facts that link angstroms to ecosystems. Virtually all theories ignore Schrodinger's claims about the anti-entropic energy of sunlight 
and most theories also ignore Dobzhansky's claims about nutrient-dependent amino acid substitutions and biodiversity. Facts link chemical ecology from quantum physics to olfaction, and facts link the immune system and the sense of smell. The sense of smell is linked from symptoms of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's to the hard problem of consciousness. The sense of smell also links the bull sperm microRNAome to microRNAs in human breast milk that are essential to brain development. Brain development occurs in the context of fixation of RNA-mediated amino acid substitutions that stabilize organized genomes. In the age of precision medicine and problems with energy theft due to the Zika virus and other viruses, genomics and genetics must be linked by facts about cell type differentiation. What is known about microbiomes, metabolism, mitochondria, and molecular diagnostics links this energy dependent systems approach from the innate immune system to precision medicine. All phenotypic expression starts with the energy dependent creation of nucleic acids and the creation of G protein coupled receptors. The receptors allow nutrients to enter cells. Receptor mediated gene expression links CFOS in the gonadotropin releasing hormone neurosecretory neurons of all mammals from the first step to the final step of cell type differentiation in all vertebrates. That fact has been known for more than two decades. MicroRNA flanking sequences link nutrient energy dependent RNA directed DNA methylation and histone acetylation to the stability of organized genomes via RNA mediated amino acid substitutions in all genera. That fact has been known for more than a year. Conclusion, nutrient energy dependent changes link olfaction and CFOS expression from microRNAs to changes in the innate immune system via microRNA flanking sequences and energy-dependent DNA methylation that varies with stress. In mammals, DNA methylation and microRNA activity link gene activation from olfaction to hormone-organized and hormone-activated behaviors via the secretion of hypothalamic GnRH and downstream effects on the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal and the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. One base pair change and a single RNA mediated amino acid substitution link the stability of viruses to the stability of metabolic networks and genetic networks in the organized genomes of all living genera. Unfortunately, Energy-dependent RNA-mediated amino acid substitutions are frequently called beneficial mutations by theorists. Definitions of mutations and assumptions about what mutations do has biased biodiversity research and patient outcomes since DeVries defined mutation in 1904. Thank you.